your curve okay so uh, in this way we have made this train retains frontal okay now let us start detailing first of all what the thing is i'll just try to pack these things from low loft okay I, I i can delete it now uh, because there is no history of no need for me so i can just say loft and i can you know close this low lying areas completely so that i can make a rock solid body right so now i have saved it now let us see starting the start the detailing first of all let us say what we are going to do uh, yes uh, we should make the cow catcher first of all the cow catcher also should be made right so let us make the cow catcher it is something like this uh, i'm not getting the exact geometry how it is uh, this this okay so let us say we need to refer some other photo no geometry okay from this point it is starting means from this point okay this way right. so the package is from this point this is the point which you need to place over here this is the point below right and uh, there is a gap i don't know why it is but anyways we won't be giving that gap there might be some technical issues these people are facing a lot number of things uh, while making this kind of geometry so let us not get into that detailing it's really very difficult guys to make a train that is uh, you know, a train is a very large unit and it's not very easy to anticipate things sitting at this place so it's a very meticulous job anyways we'll be making this and this anyways my line does not match this one this one something like this we are making a cow catcher now we we might have seen cow catchers on a regular trains because it's one of the most common things that we see a huge cage type object our trains have in front end so as to catch some stones anything that might be coming in between the rails to just throw them off toss them off from the rails and i I'll, I'll just make one thing now i need to make this thing this way i'll be making it in front just parallel to that thing right this way again i'll be saying copy this way to this point okay and again i need to say scale 1d from this point to sorry from this point to this point right again from the mid to the okay oh, sorry. sorry 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 we need to go inside not outside now with this one it's coming outside now so this is somewhat inside i'm not getting the geometry anyways we don't need this right now okay we can just you know make a surface from this point to this point to this point we won't be bothering much about the minor details but how come this could happen anyways i can just give one curve that could you know <laughs> to create a ref line somewhere yes i guess we are bang on and we can just you know make the second type of curve and we can just pick it up this way and pick it up to this point so my cow catcher works fine anyways i'll be taking this line you can refer this curve surface also no issues this one this one this one this 
simple 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 it's now much simpler with this way but anyways there is some glitch over here so what i'll be doing is we'll be not making it this way we'll be making it this way by parting these lines we'll be exploding and uh, split this into two split this as well as this into two again and now what we'll be doing is we will be making this differently surface this one this one this one this is one part this is one part this is one part so that we get this fall over here Uh, we don't have the exact geometry details of the uh, cow catcher even i have not searched that that much I, I, that was my mistake anyways i can join this i can join this okay so this part is of blue color again so i can just you know part this one blue color then join this way and then comes over here this is the frontal the train i hope we have the correct one even you can go with white also if uh, it's really wanting the geometry to be very close this also can do so this is the cow catcher means we can go with the prime one whatever you feel fine now it's changing the shape of the train so let us go with the white complete why do we do something which should have been anyways we have made the cow catch now now we uh, we need to make the front detailing now this is the point where i need to make my front detailing i have isolated this with the rest of the geometry first of all we need to make this complete thing a black thing okay so let's come again to this point we again have a curve over here visible from this point okay wait again the same practice okay we need to just drag it to the point where it is exactly recorded control this one to this point control this one to this point control this one to this point again this one to this point we have taken okay i have said mirror again chain so again i need to move this this one okay and then we'll be taking this one to the next level from this point f9 i'll be taking it to this point okay i'll be making it a bit above so that we can split the things in a better manner this way so this is my trimming curve this one goes this one goes this one goes this one goes and i'll just join these things i need to just now split it okay one more thing i need to do it right now i need to make one curve that is uh, coming from this point to this point okay and i'll mirror it this way Now just be very aware of what I'm doing. I'm just making something very odd. You need to be very attentive that I'm making this thing right now. This is one of the um, one more thing. Okay, I'll be saying fillet the fillet radius. I just count the distance what it is now from this point. It's point five. Let us give point five. We don't know. We are not modeling in the section of. Dimensions we are just referring the blue pen, so it's okay. Okay, now what we'll be doing is, first of all, what we are meant to do right now is, we'll be making a F10. We'll be selecting these lines and the scale one day from the center. I'll be, I'll be making it this way, a bit drafted. I don't need these lines now. Okay, let them be no issues. I'll just explore and I'll just delete them. Okay, I'll be filleting now. Okay, 
scale 1d copy copy this geometry okay and copy this scale 1d yeah, this geometry as well now for what i'm doing this it's a different story just have a look what i'm doing this i just don't want this i just don't want this okay i can just you know move it by some uh, you need to be very accurate at this point you can manage it also no issues so now select this and say split i say this one so i have this complete split now what i have done it's a bit confusing we have the planes the curves on one single plane do it is cutting if you are going in right view and you are going to say split whatever splits completely can split the surface in a view this way, projected view okay again i can just say trim trim okay no need to have this curve that is in between you can just say bend you can say bend you can select this one you can just have a bend over here it's like something like this something like this so it comes for you you can even you know, this way now you can say loft oh duplicate edge this one this one this one join and say loft so this way this way you have to make it so this way you have done and this can be joined with this you see a paint and this is a pure pitch black not pitch black a bit slight up so this is what we have right now okay something this you can just have a look over here it's not that accurate but then okay no issues we can just make it more accurate as it is something uh, more scale down Mm, scale one day but it will lose it so anyway let it be we have we don't have that much time to get the details on anyways we have made this thing now okay now more detailing to this what we'll be adding is we'll be adding uh, this area glass area right so the same technique you need to make again you need to start from p to this point to this point disable it this way this way just make these points equidistant might be the, this is equidistant i'll just move it this should not have been straight that's a curve it's a slight curve right I'll be hiding this bit now so that I can get the correct view. Okay, I have the correct view right now. It's not on the symmetry, right? So I'll be making this on the symmetry. So F7, F9, and should have this over here. Now what we can do is we can sort of, uh, show right now this is the joint where we have this geometry okay i'll just match it this way so that it goes to the complete length of the geometry this way right so this is the way copy it downwards to this point and align from this point to this point it comes to this point it is filleted it's point five it's point two let us say not much again split it again we have the splitting geometry i'll again say paint i'll just add a new paint 
Maybe you can name it or leave it as it is. I'll just you know give it a turquoise glass color so that it gives you a feel of glass as we are not modeling anything that is interior. Right, so we have a glass over here now. Now we'll be modeling these three things again as they are looking for. So isn't it very interesting? It's of course very interesting. I can just say that right now. Again, there is a circle over here, and there is a rectangle at this point. You know, at like this point. Okay. I can just make sure that it goes up in the air this way. And uh, sorry, it extends to this point. Sorry, I need to select these as well so that it gradually increases the both side right? I just don't need this. So I'll select this again and say split like this, 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 and this. Okay, I'll delete the curves, I don't want them anymore. And uh, while coloring them, what I'll be doing is I'll be again. Well, making these things, you need to respect the uh, surfaces much. Because now, see, if this is geometry, this. Okay, anyways, you can just correlate with the things. You know, no need to, you know, much get into that. Okay, no, it's looking bad, so we'll be respecting this. We have to respect it. Anyways, I'll be uh, uh, very uh, mapping this thing because it's a double element. I'll just disable it, F9. And I'll just enable it, this and this one. I can just you know, delete this one and I can just give it a high this way a bit slight curve so that it does not look weird when I model it. Okay, trim it as well. Okay, I'll just split it this way. I don't know whether it's going to split or not. Yes, it is. Anyways, I'll be uh, painting this one. Painting this one. Okay, it's not painted yet because it's not split. Okay, so this is the thing, this is the thing again. So now we have this, yeah, now it's looking pretty fine, but then again, we need to lower the curve size. So, anyways, you need to be very, very judgmental while making these things. <sighs> I'm just giving a slight curve, we have nothing much than that. Join it, so split. I'll place it this way. Okay, then again I'll be saying this one. No, no, no it's not yet split. This one, this one. Again, this to this. And this to this. Okay. So, this is the way I have made this stuff again. Okay. Now, what we'll be doing is we'll be making the headlight again over here. There is a headlight. Again, the same thing. I'll be copying this this way I'll explore it the rest of the thing is not useful I'll delete it okay so we have copied this we have to copy this as well move it to this point okay this one and this curve is one that we are needing it okay so from this point we are going to track it to this point we'll be making a circle tangent to this one so that we get this one circle tangent to this one so that we are getting this one mirroring them again I'll just isolate it I don't need this thing right now or I can just you know delete it I need to mirror these things right now or you can just even force sleep from it I don't need this 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 I don't need this this thing so okay sorry again trim this one this one this one sorry this one this one this one right and uh, we can just you know mirror this stuff this way this is trim this is the thing that we have made now one more thing we'll be detailing the headlamp a bit because the reason is i'll show you I'll just split it this way. Okay, no, I don't need this curve right now. 
okay b let the curve be there i'll split it this way uh, sorry split this one by this it's not getting split because uh, i guess probably there is some glitch over here anyway i loft no 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 i i can't loft i need to join them it's not joined over here because it's not trimmed well i i'll trim this as per the standards properly okay split so again i'll be saying this as a black dot over here okay but anyways what i'll be doing right now is i'll be using duplicate border okay this is a duplicate border and uh, one border is there also inside sorry i i can't delete that thing and join it just you know go inside a bit i can just extrude it this way i won't delete that thing i'll just split this with this and delete this one okay I'll keep this as it is. It's, uh, I, I'll just paint, and I, I'll just say glass. Okay, the frosted glass, not much detailed. I'll just attach this to this one. This is a clear glass. Okay. Now what I'll be doing is, I'll be unheading all. I'll be selecting this outside line. I'll say offset, and I offset it this way. Okay, and I'll select this, and I'll select the border of this. Isolate, duplicate border, and loft both of them. Now we need straight loft. Okay, and I'll be using this as a planar surface. Okay, and this and this has to be one. No need. To, I I don't know. I don't feel that it could. Uh, one thing we can do, if it's if the loft is not working the way we are imagining, you can say three two rails. So these are the two rails, and this is the curve that is to be sweeped. Now this is the idea. Okay, I can just you know uh, join these two things. Uh, if possibly, I'll give fillet to them fillet edge, say point uh, five chain no point five is very much higher side chain to this point so we have this one okay right so right now we have this canopy over here right and uh, this is a glass i can go in plastic also because glass thing doesn't give me um, transparency i can just go lower side I can just manage it this way. Similarly, you can detail it this way. I just have to. What I have to do is, I just have to keep two lights inside there. I just see these two LED lights, wait, please. And uh, we have nothing more than that. So I'll hide this. I'll isolate this so that I can do detailing over here. Simple thing. Simple thing. Simple thing. We are having oblong over here, right? We are just making an oblong. I am going to disable this stuff, and I am feeling that this is the line length of that thing, right? I will just mirror it this way. This oblong and this oblong. I will move it ahead, ahead this way, and then what I will be doing is I will be just you know, completing this oblong. And trim it this way. Join. I'll select again a circle. It is a very uh, fast modeling software. You can really, uh, if you gain the skill, of course, you can really uh, model it to a very good extent. Anyways, I'll be extruding it this way. Okay, I'll be making a sphere.
this way I'll say scale 1D mirror you can just say these as paint oh no that's not paint that's metallic metal so you can just give this as a metal this as a metal and this again as a black yeah sufficient we can just move it now down the sides to this point how does this look somewhat like this anyways I'll just move it so that it does not intersect with the front surface it completely gets accommodated inside of the body let us see how it looks yes this is the way it is being done I'll just move it a bit 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 outside and it should not just intersect the surface that's my priority okay this is what we were opting for now even the transparency we can increase we can have a clear look onto this now a bit more then we just don't want uh, things to be very transparent okay this way hmm now uh, we have made this complete stuff we, we won't be making these uh, wipers and all stuff because we are into some different problems the much intricate things are these things so we have to complete these things first okay now let us make this headlamp thing okay now we have made this until this point now let us go to the headlamps I have this edge over here, right? I'll just extract it this way. Isolate. I'll be just making this uh, disabling. Uh, sorry, uh, starting from this point, I'll be disabling this. Okay. By orthon, I'll be just making the points that are essential for me to place it over these lines. Okay. Why I have done this? Because this will take a geometry to the place and not out of the place so uh, I'll be just you know dragging it this way this way this way this way this way You have to be uh, very, very, very particular while making these things. Means I, I, I'm just pull that. This goes well hand in hand this way. I know the tutorial is taking much time, but uh, given the geometry, it really is very difficult. Make such kind of things in one go. Well, I'm trying this train for the first time, anyways. I'm just trying myself to get close to the geometry okay this way you have to again do the same exercise that you have done before for the curves but uh, actually the surface is one single surface so let us not try to you know come out of this line let us this rail on the surface okay aligned to that surface exact perfectly aligned to that surface minute glitches is it's okay absolutely okay no issues we are making it for the first time so okay it's not a bandaya okay so we have made this one right now this is a bit very very sharp but we are going according to this so according to this we are pretty okay we are making it a bit sharp again yeah now this is I guess what is okay right now after this I'll be saying copy this control C 
I'll split this with this. Wait, I delete this. I delete this. I'll see Control V and I'll hide this. So we have this surface over here. I'll say join from this point to chord of this, and I'll say mirror. Oh, sorry, geometry uh, join. Yeah. So this way we have done this, right? Now I'll just say extrude. So yes, now we are making this stuff, right? So what is the color of this thing? Is black. Okay, so I'll just paint it for a while to get the crux of the matter. Yes, we are online. In line to this thing, and then this thing has to be extruded. I don't know what. Uh, I, I haven't figured it out how it's going. But anyways, it's been extruded in vertically. Means you have to take one line at this point, and you have to make it go straight, straight, and then to perpendicular to this surface. Okay, and that too outward this way okay and then you need to go here and the sweep path to this and this curves to extrude enter and this one is the path what's happening curves to extrude path near the contact of yes this one so this is the way that we are going to deal with this stuff anyways this is again we are not filleting anything because we don't have that much time. So filleting fineness can be added later, it's not an issue. We are just making the geometry. I'll just split this with this one. Yes, it's successfully split up. And uh, you can even split this with this laterly. Now we'll just mirror this one to this. And again I'll be saying split this to this. And uh, this is common again okay so uh, i can join these two things uh, I, uh, i'll just think over it like whether i have to okay i'll do one thing i split it no issues okay this way so we have this stuff now this is the train this way the train it means top view mirror now I'll be mirroring this one. Alright. <sighs> we are coming till here. We have come till here. Now what we'll be doing is we'll be carving these lights. Okay. I'll say ISO. I have this curve and I'll say isolate this one to with this. I'll say offset to this till this point. Okay, I'll select this one and I'll split it with this. So this is my white curve now. And this is my black curve. Okay. Again the same thing we have to do is we have to create a circle over here and a circle over here. This is a larger one, this is a smaller one. Split this one, this one. Uh, okay, this one, this one. But away, I'll just make them close to this point so that my loft works well with this to this. Sorry, with this to this. With this to this as well. Okay, you can and uh, you can just pack it up this way. These are not supposed to be two. These are supposed to be one. Okay. So now these two things are this uh, plastic that is visible plastic. All right. And we are going to make nothing else than a sphere over your center. Sphere. 
scale 1D center of the sphere and delete this I can just uh, move it ahead I can get a color of metal to this one again I'll be copying this view copy from the center of this point to center of this line I'll scale it up center okay but this time what I'll be doing is I'll be saying metal but then metal of the color red and it has to be very ahead to this point somewhere inside without intersecting the geometry let's see what it's looking like beautiful right so these all things are just an effect okay I, I'll delete this line so uh, I can just do one thing I can just say select surface fillet edge this one I can zero this up I can zero this up I can add the kink over here and I'll say 0.5 to this point let's see what happens Dan is a bit weak in filleting the geometries as far as I'm, my knowledge is concerned what I've experienced I'm telling it so, so zero is yes, zero I'm sorry we'll just try it we can do it after having a lot of effort on this we can do it but it will take time so better way if it happens well and good else we'll leave it uh, it's happening I guess but it's not trimming the surface the way it is supposed to anyways I'll join this I'll join this happening we are having a surface over here okay uh, we can also uh, go with this way fill it edge again the zero thing the zero thing add a kink over here by of 0.3 yeah and join it again join it again It's not happening anyways. I should not be worried about that thing. It's not happening. It's not uh, taking the fillets. Okay, anyways, let it be. The main, more important is the geometry that is happening. Anyways, we have done this now. This one. These writing, all this stuff is no work for us. So we are just going to create this parting line now okay now creating a parting line is uh, uh, let us uh, create a parting line this way okay now let us see we are having this much data with us right okay sorry this way this way okay so we have to make this also mirror now we'll be making this mirror The parting line here plays an important role as it parts the geometry. We have taken it far away away from that point. Anyways, let's part it. The geometry, this one. Not these, not this, not this, not this. I'll uh, need the curves. I don't think so. So I'll be selecting all the curves at the ones. I'll be saying. Uh, Curves. I'll hide them. Change object to the layer. I'll hide them. Okay. So whatever I'll be needing is this thing. This thing. This thing is not supposed to be there. These things are much needed things. Okay. So, and this also, as it is also having the. So this is my fan fascia. Now the clean it in. Okay, so we'll be needing duplicate edge, this edge. Okay, but this is way above. So, anyways, 
I'll be making a surface over here. I'll be pulling this line from this point to this point. Okay, so this is my edge. Okay, so now I'll be making one line at this point. I'll disable this one. And extend. Okay, this happens in this way, but we have to take it a below a bit below, right? So from that point we can just you know part it this way. So the main place we have to create a point line this way. We need to make that curve as well. I'm just making one part line in this way. Actually playing it much and much will make us uh, proper uh, aware of the curves that we are going to give but then you know you to play for that long enough. Okay, anyways, this one, this one. Because it is putting every pointer. Anyways, you know, in this way. I'll be moving this to outside somewhere else. So that I can draft a curve between them. I'll just make sure that this joins up here and makes a sense at this point. Okay. This join. Now I'll be seeing this one, this one. I'll do one thing now. Uh, I'm going to make part lines, right? So part lines are something that are very uh, crucial, you know, in Rhino to be made. So just have a look closer look at how I'm going to create these lines. Splitting. Uh, I I just make sure whether these things are in one plane. No, it's not in one plane. So I'll make them first of all in one plane. I'll make a surface below. I pull all these curves on the surface firstly I'll delete this, I'll delete this, I'll delete this I don't need these things so firstly I'll select this one this one, this one this one this one, sorry not this one it's split Hopefully what will happen, what should happen is this. Okay. I just move this ahead. Alright. We don't need that thing. Right. So we have made this now. So this is something. So let us see. We have in something over here, right? And uh, we'll be making it bend over here. Okay, this way it is. I'm just not getting the shape. Okay, the duplicate edge. This one, this one, this one, this one. No, 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 no. This one and this one. That's it. This is one geometry. We have to say sweep. Sweep one. This is my geometry and this is sweep <coughs> sweep one rail is this one and this one right sweep 
this one so this one is happening it's a bit difficult let us see that uh, we'll just do one thing uh, we'll separate this by some elements it's uh, 0.5 no it's not done actually we can do it but it's a very pretty number some work so and it will take time like it will get long so let's not get into that stuff currently we'll just part it this way i'm just making it look odd it's looking odd but so one thing more we have to do we have the shed line a very beautiful technique <laughs> I, i'll just tell you what i used today to do in those days 0 0.02 sorry not 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 or 0 0.1 we'll be making right so these are the two lines 0.1 is also even 0 0.05 is okay so this 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 we have uh, made this split we'll split this by this so simply we'll do this okay and then we'll just going paint paint this one paint this one we can layer layer it literally okay it's okay that we have this shut line now okay so this is the frontal part writing this icf is not a big we can write it later on now let us make this window okay in the side view i'll be coming over here now you might have understood that it's really very easy if you are well versed in the tools with uh, this software i'll just make a parallel running line is coming this way we, but i don't know whether the real train why it is this way i don't like the shape of the window but it's okay i'll just make sure that this line runs across at the geometry this way and say isolate Okay. Then comes this 